<laughs> Hi everybody, do you want the same parts on your car that I used on Cruise Missile? Don't forget to check out davescustomparts.com. <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for checking out the Dave's World YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I decided to do uh, basically, I guess like a product video or a product testing video. I have a member of my channel who wanted an intercooler kit, but they wanted something pretty custom. So uh, they had requested a black intercooler. I said I can do it. What I was originally going to do is just look for a black intercooler that fits dimensions of my current intercooler. I couldn't find anything I liked. I thought it was going to be too restrictive and maybe overheat the system. So I came up with my own version of my intercooler that's actually black. I took my intercooler here. So you can see that's my intercooler that I run on my everyday car. Uh, you know, I tested on my own car before I was offering it to anybody, which is why it's on the car and I have the nose off because I've been running testing. Uh, same thing with my brakes. Uh, you guys don't get anything unless it's actually on my car first. So this is what I came up with. I have a custom die that has stainless steel in it. It's supposed to work for heat transfer and change the color. So I have some black piping that I did for this intercooler kit. And also what I did was some uh, test pieces where I actually was just uh, testing the durability. This one, you can see I actually hit it with a hammer and all it did was dent. It's still black, it's still satin in color, and it just has a little dent, which is great. And here is the intercooler we're going to be throwing in. I want to move the car real quick uh, so we can put this in the car. Uh, it's the exact same intercooler, just with the black satin dye. Okay, unfortunately the sun went in so this black intercooler might not show up as well, but it's officially on the car. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if the uh, cooling efficiency is the same as the bare stainless one. It's important. I was worried about a coating being on here that might cause a problem. Uh, the person who bought this is okay with basically what I was thinking of doing is just doing the end tanks in black but leaving everything else stainless steel uh, but they said they're okay with me doing that but I said look let me take it a step further and test this first if I have problems you'll get the other style if this works fine then we're good to go so uh, next time you guys see me we're gonna be driving in the car We've been driving for a couple minutes. What I want to do is let me pull over and get the car a little warmer by, I basically want to simulate like sitting in traffic. And uh, let's see what kind of temperature this intercooler's at now and what kind of temperature it gets up to while sitting. Okay, right now after driving, it's 75 degrees out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the intake temperature is at 81 degrees. It's gonna rise a little bit. Uh, 81 degrees is perfectly fine. That's exactly what we want to see. The factory intercooler at this point would probably be 100 degrees, uh, if not more. And keep in mind, my car's a big turbo, so my intake temperatures are gonna be hotter than what a regular intercooler would uh, be seeing. Uh, the average person who runs a factory intercooler, basically, once you start getting heat soak, it's like 175 degrees with a big turbo. So for us, I don't know how, how hot it's gonna get. I would imagine it might still get 175 degrees. We're just gonna sit here, we're gonna wait, and then uh, I guess I'll just cut over to when this thing gets hot enough. Okay, so we sat here for a while. The intake temperatures are now just shy of 100 degrees. Uh, we're at 97, and what I wanna do is just start driving, and I wanna see the temperatures drop. And I want to make sure this black intercooler is going to do the same as my uh, non-coated one, I should say. Okay, let's see. We were driving for about a minute. And look, the intake temperatures are already down to 86. Uh, so that's definitely a good sign. Let me run this turbo up a little bit. All 
right, so after pushing the car a little bit and just keeping it in gear and really pushing and pushing, it's at 82 degrees. You know, the cooling efficiency is awesome on this intercooler. That's the thing nobody realizes. Intercoolers are always gonna have temperature, but it's how fast that temperature drops. And I'm definitely happy to put out products that I know are gonna work on these cars. Uh, you know, people are always trying to get the Mishimoto intercoolers, you know, because they're cheap. They're like 150 bucks for a Mishimoto intercooler. But then they don't come with the provisions to put a boost sensor in. Uh, they don't come with any piping. They don't come with any brackets. So by the time you're done making a Mishimoto intercooler fit, it's gonna cost you about what it costs to put one of my intercoolers in your car, and mine's designed for the Chevy Cruze. I've seen this thing heat up while driving is 86 degrees and as soon as I let off the gas it's look it just dropped to 79 degrees hopefully you guys can see that okay so that was pretty interesting what I noticed on this test drive was the black coating uh, really made no negative effects in fact it's possible that the black might do a better job on the intercooler versus the intercooler just being stainless uh, it may be because just like putting a hat on. Like imagine uh, you're out in the sun, just like I am right now, and your, your head's hot and on fire. You go throw a hat on, now all of a sudden your head feels better. You're still in that same heat, but you just have a black hat on. It actually makes your head feel much cooler. So that might be what's happening. I'm okay offering this black intercooler as a product on the website. Um, you guys can get it at supercruises.com. I know I have a couple different website names. Uh, one of them is davescustomparts.com, but I'm gonna be using Super Cruises. If you go to www.supercruises.com, it'll bring you right to the cruise section on my website where you can get all of my cruise products. Make sure you guys check my website regularly as I'm uh, doing updates as much as possible. I do the website myself, so I have to get to it when I have the time to. I just put a methanol injection system for our cars up on the website. It says that I'm looking for testers. If you guys are interested in uh, running a methanol injection system on your car, uh, get in touch with me. Uh, if you go to supercruises.com, I have a message section on there where you can order and message me. And then, uh, yeah, just keep in touch, everybody. I appreciate you checking this video out, and have a very nice day.